In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on Mexi's futures market. This video is not a sponsored video and is not financial advice. This video is intended for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I also have some other Mexi Global tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. And I'll leave a link for some of those videos in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Let's get into the video. Before demonstrating a trailing stop loss, I'll have to get myself into a small position here. So I'm just going to come over here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and just open up a tiny little position and I'll open long. Confirm. Now I've opened myself a small long position. To set up a trailing stop loss for this long position, we'll first have to configure the order panel. So we'll come over here on the right hand side. We're going to move from open over to close. Then we'll hover over this little triangle next to trigger and we'll select trailing stop from this drop down menu. Now we need to choose our trail variance. This is going to be the distance that the trailing stop loss follows behind price action. So to do that, we'll come down here to the trail variance box. We can use the 1% quick feature here. You can click on 5% or you can put in a custom amount. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and do 3%. This means that the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. Next, we need to choose the quantity of the position we wish to sell if our trailing stop loss gets hit. And you'll be able to see what's available to sell right here. Or you can find your position size if you come down here and click on open positions. And right here, you'll be able to see your position size. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just sell everything for this trailing stop loss. We'll come back up here to quantity and we'll type that in. So 19.13. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just simply come down here and click on close long. Now, as you can see, the trailing stop order was successfully submitted. As the price of this asset moves to the upside, the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. If at any point price action was to retrace by 3%, it's going to hit the stop loss and remove me from the position. If price action was to roll over from here by 3%, the stop loss will get hit and I'll be removed out of the position. You can find the details of your trailing stop loss if you come down here and click on open orders next to open positions. And here's where you'll find your trailing stop loss. If at any point you want to cancel it, you just come over here on the right hand side and click on revoke. And as you can see, I just removed the trailing stop loss. You can also use a trailing stop loss if you're in a short position as well. So what I'll do is I'll quickly close out this long position. I'll just flash close it like so. And there it goes. So now I'll come back up here. I'm going to go to market. And I'll go ahead and I will open a small short position and in position. To open my trailing stop loss for my short position, we come back up here to the order panel and we'd move from open to close. Then we'll hover on the triangle next to trigger and we'll click trailing stop loss from this drop down menu. And I'll go ahead and use the same variance of 3% for the purposes of demonstration. Now I need to choose the quantity, so the amount of the position I wish to sell if the stop loss gets hit. And once again, we'll be able to see what's available to sell right here. And of course, we can find our position size if we come down here to open positions and our position size is right here. Once again, I'll just go ahead and sell everything if the stop loss was to get hit. So we'll come back up here to quantity and I'll just type that in. So we'll go 19.12. Once you have your trailing stop loss set up the way that you want it, we just come down here and we'd click on close short. And the trailing stop loss has been activated immediately. So if price action was to begin to roll over from here and move to the downside, the stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. If at any point price action was to bounce by 3%, it's going to hit that stop loss and remove me from the position. If price was to go against me immediately by 3%, the stop loss will be hit and I'll be removed out of the position. If you'd like to cancel that stop loss, just come down here, click on open orders next to open position, and then come over here on the right hand side and click on revoke. And I just removed that trailing stop loss. You can also set an activation price for your stop loss as well. So to do that, we'll come back up here to the order panel. I'll go ahead and put in the quantity that I wish to sell here. So we'll go 19.12. And then what you do is you come down here and you click on activation price. Then from here, you just type in an activation price. So let's imagine that I want my trailing stop loss to activate 
if the price of this asset was to come down somewhere around this wick right here. For the purposes of demonstration, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and head over here to my drawing tools and I'll grab a horizontal line and I'll put it on the chart just a little bit below the wick, something like that. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 25,664. So let's type that into activation price, 25,664. Now what we'll do is we'll click on close short. Now I've submitted that trailing stop loss with an activation price for this short position. So in this particular situation here, if Bitcoin was to roll over and come down here and hit my trigger price, that's going to activate the trailing stop loss to begin to follow behind price action by 3%. Just keep in mind that the stop loss is not activated until price action comes down and hits your trigger condition. So if price action was to simply continue to the upside from here, we'd be holding onto our coins and taking a loss because the trailing stop loss has not been activated. To find the details of this, you can come down here to open orders and right over here, you'll see where it says trailing stop. Give that a click. And here's where you can find the details of your trailing stop loss. And in this case, you can see that it's deactivated. And that's because our activation price hasn't been hit. At any point, if you want to cancel this, you just come over here and click on revoke under action. And I just removed that trailing stop order. And you can use an activation price to the upside as well. So I'll quickly close out this position here. We'll do a flash close like so. And I'll mark it into a small long position here just to demonstrate this. Open long, confirm, looks good. Now from here, I'd move the order panel from open over to close. We'll come down to where it says trigger and we'll click on trailing stop. I'll use the same trailing variance and I'll go ahead and do the whole position here if this trailing stop loss gets activated and then gets hit. And then what we would do is we come down here, we'd click the activation price. And let's imagine that we wanna set an activation price somewhere right around this area here. So for the purposes of demonstration, I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and I'll go just above these wicks, maybe something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point correlated to that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 29,919. So we'd come over here to activation price and we'd type that in 29,919. Then when we're ready, we'd click right here on close long. Now we've submitted that order. So if the price of Bitcoin was to come up, and hit our trigger price right here, so our activation price, that's going to activate the trailing stop loss to begin to follow behind price action by 3%. But once again, remember that the trailing stop loss won't begin to follow until the price of Bitcoin hits your activation price. So if Bitcoin rolled over from here, we'd have no protection in place and we'd be losing money on this trade. We can find the details of this if we come down here to open orders then click where it says trailing stop. And here's where we can see our trailing stop order. Of course, the status of this is deactivated and that's because our activation price hasn't been hit. If we want to cancel it, we'd come over here, click on revoke, and we've removed that trailing stop loss order. So as you can see, there's a few ways that you can set a trailing stop loss. Typically, trailing stop losses are best in a blue sky breakout. So when an asset is going through price discovery and moving to all time highs, what I like to do is I like to just zoom the chart out a little bit, look left, get to know what a normal price fluctuation is. That way you're not getting stopped out on any normal price movements. You don't necessarily want to set your trailing stop loss too close to price action. Otherwise, you might get stopped out on a normal price movement. So take a little bit of time on the asset that you're looking to trade, as well as the time frame that you're trading on. And choose a trailing variance that makes the most sense for you. But that's how you can set up a trailing stop loss. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trailing stop loss on the futures market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Mexi Global tutorials, which are in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.